What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick video on the Galaxy Note 8 Oreo beta that leaked. I did make a video on Friday showing how to install this, so if you're interested, check out that link in the description. Be sure to read the pen comment, especially if you're on the US Unlocked model or on the Sprint model, but it does work for all US carrier variants as well as the US Unlocked Snapdragon 835. So I wanna to talk today a little bit about the battery life, smoothness, and some of the bugs that I've noticed, and a few new features. First of all, the battery life's been pretty solid. Uh, I've only put a one full charge cycle on here, so I got about five and a half hours screen on time. The charge cycle I put yesterday on Saturday running the beta full through all throughout the day. That's with my normal answering a lot of YouTube comments, watching media. Uh, I was also on LTE for a pretty big chunk of the day. We are out and about doing holiday stuff. As you guys can see right here, running Android 8.0, Samsung Experience version 9.0. So battery life, I think, is actually a little improved over Nougat, at least for me, which usually isn't the case. I did do a full partition wipe, uh, and then eventually I factory reset it, uh, just because I had some issues with some other things, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, the next thing, overall smoothness, pretty good. Like the actual UI smoothness, swiping up to get into the app drawer, um, navigating around home screens, everything seems pretty pretty smooth actually. And Bixby works actually fine if you swipe over to Bixby Home. I was able to set up Bixby no problem on my Galaxy Note 8. Did reset some of the settings, but not a big problem. Occasionally I did have to go in, an app would freeze up and I would do a force close um, of one of the apps or all of the apps. One thing to mention while we're in there in the top menu here, the three dots, you can change this to a list view. So this is one of the new features. This was present on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus uh, Oreo beta as well, but that's just something new um, if you're interested in changing that. Uh, the next thing, aside from the smoothness, is the number of features that have been changed. Well, I made a huge amount of content talking about the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus beta. That's actually what I have right here, is my S8 Plus running the Oreo beta. So if you guys want the full rundown of the features for Android Oreo, most of them are left unchanged. I'll drop the links below to my written article on gadget hacks, uh, as well as a couple of videos I made about that. But let me just show you guys a couple for the Note 8 people who are watching the video. First one is the new always on display styles. So you can actually customize them quite a bit. I'm running one of them right here. Uh, also on the lock screen, the text right here, the color is supposed to match your wallpaper. I'm afraid that might actually be broken because it hasn't been working on this Note 8 build, uh, but it did work for me on the Galaxy S8 Plus. Uh, the way to get to that new stuff is to go into lock screen and security, go down to always on display, scroll down. Once you get to the always on display, you can go ahead and set up your schedule, everything like that. Right below it is the clock and face widgets. Go up to clock style right here. You can actually set it separately on the lock screen and on the always on display. So you can choose, and there are a lot of new styles. This one here is pretty cool to, um, to use as well. But you can see the color is actually stuck on actually what my original wallpaper was. So I think that might be broken. Here's my always on display wallpaper uh, right now, my always on display pattern. Uh, down here is where the adaptive color is. So you can change it right there. If you turn it off, you can actually see that it then won't change the color. If you turn it on, it says adjust the color of the lock screen content to automatically watch your wallpaper. But again, I don't know that that's working because this is the color of the original wallpaper I had. It's a light purple, but this is obviously, there's not really any light purple in my wallpaper right now. So that could be a bug, but it's a pretty cool feature. Um, some of the other stuff, you've got YouTube picture and picture on here. You've also got notification dots. So if you hold down on the home screen, go to home screen settings notifications right here. You can choose the app icon badges and you can either get the ones with the uh, number or without. So if you don't want the ones with the number, these are the little dots that you would get um, in Android Oreo on the Pixel phone. Um, that's kind of cool. You can play around with that. If you like the number, you can go back here, bring that back up as well. Uh, another thing that they improved in the home screen settings menu that was not there, still is not there on the Galaxy S8 Oreo beta, is that you now have the option here to add a app uh, to the home screen when you download a new app from Google Play. Uh, that's a big deal because Google Play Store actually put that app and sort of offloaded it to the um, launcher in a recent version. And actually that's no not there in the Oreo beta for the S8 Plus. You guys can see add apps to home screen, not in the S8 Plus, but in the Note 8. So that's definitely something they added. So this seems to be a newer build that they were working on than the final version of the S8 Plus Oreo build, which is uh, beta three right now. A uh, couple other new things which I talked about before. There's a new keyboard in here. The settings menu has been revamped ever so slightly. You've got autofill profiles within Google Chrome. 
Uh, there's some new integration with your Samsung account. You see a little icon up here. You can get into your Samsung account very easily and play around with things like that. Um, on the home screen, you can now also play around with uh, folder colors. You've also got some shortcuts when you actually put on these. Let me go ahead and put these into a folder so I can show you guys. If you go back up here, you can now change your you know, custom color picker within the folder. So that's kind of cool. Uh, these are things that I already showed on the Galaxy S8 Plus and S8, but that's a list of new features. Again, if you guys want to see the full list of new stuff, go check out the other video on the S8 and the S8 Plus, and you should be able to see what's new. Um, a couple of crashing and bugs things that I've mentioned. Samsung Connect crashes just all the time. So if you use Samsung Connect, you might not want to install this. Um, not really a huge deal to me. I uninstalled the app because it was just crashing like every five minutes. It actually happened when I originally did the how-to video. It crashed as soon as I installed it. Uh, Gear VR is not working. So I tried to use this with my Gear VR. Um, it crashes, has all kinds of bugs. You're not gonna be able to use Gear VR content with this beta build um, of Oreo on the Note 8. So just keep that in mind. I was having a lot of problems getting my Gear S3 Frontier with T-Mobile to work. So I went ahead and did a full factory reset and I was finally able to get this to work. So um, if you just flash the OTAs and you don't do a factory reset ahead of time, you might have a problem getting your gear, your gear app to work and pair with the Galaxy Gear S3. I don't know if it was just the LTE model, but I couldn't get it to work at all um, until I did a factory reset. So that's something to keep in mind. Ah, uh, the camera. So this is a rather big one right here. And this one's probably one that's gonna make everyone upset. You guys can see if I go into the camera app, the zoom just locks up and decides not to work at all at certain points. So this is kind of intermittent, but you won't have access to the zoom feature uh, all the time. So occasionally it will work, occasionally it won't work, but that's definitely something to keep in mind if you use that two times zoom often. Don't install this because that's not one of the biggest bugs I've noticed so far. Uh, Samsung Pay, a lot of people have asked if that works. Um, that does work for me. So if you swipe up, you'll see that I was able to get my Samsung uh, cards in here. I was also able to get my other credit cards. This is just a Samsung rewards card uh, that I earned. It doesn't have any balance, so I don't mind really showing that one. Um, but I was able to add my cards and actually use Samsung Pay today at a few shops. So you'll be able to use Samsung Pay uh, if you do get the Oreo build on your phone. And then the last thing, the uh, build is uncertified in the Play Store. So if you go to the Google Play Store and you go to Settings, which is actually right here on the side menu, scroll down to Settings, you'll notice at the very bottom it says Device Certification Uncertified. Um, so what that means is technically a lot of the Google apps and even Netflix that use Safety Net, they might not work. Um, now I did check Netflix on my device. You can see right here, if you press it, it says there's a problem playing the video. And even if I go back and try a few more videos, you guys can probably see that it's not going to work. So you can see right there that safety net is kind of intermittent on the Galaxy Note 8 with Netflix. Also with Android Pay, I couldn't get Android Pay um, to set up. Some people on Reddit were reporting different things. Some people were able to get Netflix to work, sometimes not. Um, if you clear the cache and then go back and watch a video, sometimes that will work, but it's very buggy. So all of the Google apps that require safety net plus Netflix, um, you might not be able to use them. So that's something to watch out for. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Those are the bugs I've noticed so far. Um, there's not a lot of new features that are different from the S8 Plus. It's nice that they add the option to uh, put an icon on the home screen when installing new apps. But aside from that, everything that was in the S8 Plus beta is present here. There's no new S Pen features. Um, the S Pen does work perfectly fine, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, guys, so you can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe. Also hit the notification icon so you can get future videos like this from me. Find my written coverage over at gadgethacks.com where I'm covering Android every day. I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.